Brasil é muito, muito grande, mano. I feel the type of way. Yeah, I don't know about the real side of the story. Can't live for this, what it is. If I lose it right now. Day. I'm Bill Deuce. So I think you guys know I often go on about how Brazil is like such a big country. Like it is a big country. And today we're going to react to a video that explains why Brazil is a big country. Like Brazil, <laughs> it's freaking huge, bro. I think uh, in statistics, it's the fourth biggest country in the world. Um, but yeah, I think Brazil is so big and also I think uh, Brazil's size also contributes to how diverse Brazil is like Brazil my opinion most diverse country in the world um, So yeah, right now we're gonna react to why the frick is Brazil so freaking big so uh, yeah without further ado Let's get into uh, 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 This reaction uh, let's survive. Let's go Brazil is the fifth largest country by territory. So I was wrong. <laughs> Mano, I swear it's the fourth. Really? Brazil is the fifth. I guess I was wrong. I was wrong, Genshi. Largest country by territory. It occupies half of South America, being as big as. Yeah, like that. That's crazy, bro. Brazil takes up half of the whole of South America. One country, Brazil, takes up half of South America. Like, if that doesn't sound big to you, I don't know what big is. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All its Spanish speaking countries combined, but historically, there should have not been any Portuguese trace in this part of the world. Spain and Portugal started the era of great discoveries, and they dominated the ocean in the 15th century. And to flex on everyone else, they simply flex. split the world by drawing a line across the globe, which is known Eita. as the Pope Meridian, because, you know, the Pope approved it. Everything to the west went to the Spanish and everything to the east to the Portuguese. But then the Portuguese really? suggested to redraw it slightly to the west, you know, just in case. And the Spanish were like, if that makes you happy. Fuck. <laughs> Whoa. And was also made a treaty that would define world's history. Treaty of Tordi... 1494, Jesus. Bro, I can't even read that. Let's read it in Portuguese instead, ready? <laughs> então foi feito um tratado que definir, definiria a história mundial. Tratado de Drodesilhas, depois reforçado, carindo se outro linha no o Oceano Pacífico, já que Faranão de Magale... Magalhães tinha finalmente provado que a Terra é esférica. Tra tratado de Zaragoza. <laughs> Meu Deus, I think that was pretty good. But then, just a few years later, a Portuguese ship stumbled upon a piece of American land just eastward from the line. That did not Eita. alert the Spanish though, because they still had like 90% of the continent. What could potentially go wrong? It must have gone wrong at some point. When in a... <laughs> Wait, so that... Hold up. It must have gone wrong at some point. So that's what Brazil was meant to be? Point. Bro. When and why did Brazil go blowfish? And why did the... <laughs> Bruh. 
So is that how big Brazil was going to be? And it freaking turned into an absolute boost. <laughs> like, I, I know, Brazil is so freaking big, bro. It's nuts. Point. Like, I, I wonder how many Englands, okay? How many Englands could you fit in Brazil? I, wanna, I wonder what that number actually is. How many Englands could fit in Brazil? When and why did Brazil go blowfish? And why did the Spanish overlook that? But before that, let's imagine what would have been had Brazil stayed all east to the line. Let's call this alternative smaller Brazil a uh, Brasilinho. The country would take up <laughs> eleven states in full. full <laughs> Brasilinho. <laughs> Mano. And five in part. Seven out of ten largest cities, including the capital, Brasilinho, is about two million square kilometers, which is about a quarter of the greater Brazil size. I almost burped then, bro, because I'm drinking Pepsi, you know? Does Pepsi make anyone else burp? It makes me burp all the time. Okay, weird subject to bring up here. Um, So this is this is what Brazil is going to be, bro. A quarter of the size of how Brazil actually is today. That's nuts! But it takes up two-thirds of its population, three-quarters of the GDP, which makes it the 12th biggest economy, the 10th most populous, and the 12th largest country. Just one wow. Denmark bigger than Mexico, but a whole Texas smaller than Argentina. Geography says the rules for history. In the case of Brazil, the coastal mountains make harder for the early Brazilians to go into the continental interiors. But those were nothing compared to what stood in the way of their competitors. Even now, with all the technological progress, the Andes served as a huge barrier for the South American countries. And so it was easier for the Portuguese to penetrate Amazonia. And at their disposal was the largest river system in the world. In 1580... Eita! Eita, mano! Bro, I'm sweating like I'm inside of a freaking oven. Jesus. Um, it's really hot in England today for some weird reason. But, yo, this is actually really, really interesting, bro. Brazil's history uh, and everything about Brazil's history is actually very interesting. Uh, you know... It is, and obviously it's interesting and i think a lot of people are interested in brazil's history obviously because it is the only portuguese speaking country in south america so i think that makes people be like hey bro why the frick does brazil speak portuguese you know brazil's history is freaking interesting man inglés and we can portugal sign a union with spain the former rivals now were essentially one country and so the borders became irrelevant. And so the Brazilians wow. could freely go beyond the Pope Meridian into the Amazonia. And when the Union broke up in 1640, they simply rejected to leave the, the lands. Nevertheless, Spain did not stick to the rules either. With centuries passing, each side began to what violate... What did that say? Oh. Alrighty, mate. With centuries passing, each side began to violate the treaties. A bit here, a bit there, just like kids steal from the box of chocolate, thinking that mommy oh. would not notice. <laughs> but eventually that became too obvious, and so new treaties were signed, where the illegally claimed lands were mutually accepted. They said like, we're fine with that, keep that and we keep this. And so Spain got, for instance, the Philippines, and this wow. is how Amazonia officially joined Brazil. Other European countries did not care about the treaties made between just Spain and Portugal. Wow, this is interesting, bro. This is really freaking interesting because I did not know about this. And this history goes back so, so freaking far, bro. Like, bruh, Brazil's history is long. Damn, son. First the French and then the Dutch shamelessly attempted to get a piece of the continent. Easier said than done. Oh. The pissed off Brazilians knocked them out and all by themselves without any assistance from Portugal. <laughs> Relationships between Portugal and Brazil were complicated. Despite the fact that the colony was gigantic, the metropolis 
kinda ignored it. Such a vast territory seemed little to Bruh. offer to invest in its exploration and exploitation. Portugal, on the other hand, always lacked finances, as well as strong colonization ambitions. Lisbon's interest in Brazil began to fade just a couple of decades after its lucky discovery, and the interest was shifting back to Asia, basically leaving the American colony on its own with all their needs Jesus. and struggles. Then, all the gold and diamonds went across the Atlantic, and to make things worse, the Brazilian market was filled with English goods bought on the very gold from the very soil, and that's killing. Local I always get so, when when they mention the freaking gold and stuff. I always be a bit like, I'm English. <laughs> okay. Local enterprise. The boiling point was near. By 19th century. Brazil became ever so self-aware and just needed a suitable moment to flip off Portugal. And such a chance was given by the French. In 1808, Napoleon invaded the Iberian... Bro, we're, we're all the way back in 1808 still, bro. Jesus. Peninsula. The Portuguese king fled over the ocean. But once ah. things started to settle in Europe, the Portuguese people needed came back but the prince yeah, he yeah, yeah. decided to take he stayed and to this opportunity See. and declared himself no less than the emperor of brazil yes i know about this part because i've heard this part of brazil the, the history a million billion times bro and so the biggest colony ever had become independent without much Bruh. bloodshed had they done it before brazil would have not stayed one country due to lack of centralization experience. In this parallel universe, South America is likely to have an equal number of Portuguese and Spanish-speaking countries. And if the Meridian was not... Bro, that is crazy, really, if you think about it, how history... Like, it, it's just crazy. Like, it could... The world today could be... Like, Brazil literally could not exist if stuff in the past went differently, bro. It's nuts. It's nuts. Not slightly moved to the west. The Portuguese would have not had much ground and cracks to take over half continent. Brazil is a country. Bro, that was interesting. I can't lie to you, bro. I, I, I like Brazil's history. Honestly, is so so interesting. Obviously, because when you look at South um, South America, Brazil, I think is always the country that is your eye one because it literally takes up half the continent and because it's just different from the rest of south america bro like it is just different and that's why i find brazil so interesting and its history so interesting because it really is just different and more amazing <laughs> but yo anyway there was me reacting to why the frick brazil is so big and uh yeah if you like more videos reacting to Brazilian history, obviously you guys know I'm not the best with history. So when it comes to history videos, I more just try and listen as much as possible. Maybe don't talk as much, but uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. And if you guys enjoy it, if you want more videos on Brazilian history, make sure to like and subscribe and ciao.